And I went into the place and got a hijab. They gave me all this shit for free because I just they f you when you Muslim, you get whatever. Then we went to the little Mediterranean place to give me a free salad. No I way. Like, Yo, uh, the benefits are coming uh, in. Uh, <laughs> all praises to the most high. Oh. The Ayabra ad you're about to see is for adults only. If you're a child, please tune off. It's a medical condition that can affect everyone and it is halal and permissible. Lockdown pills. For the moment when you're not feeling up for it. Available in both male and female. 100% authentic natural intimacy vitality pills. Endorsed in TV's This Morning Celebrity, Dr. Chris Steele. Issue of the Celebrity Angels magazine by Ayabra. Also, if you provide a five-star review after your purchase on Amazon, you can qualify for a fee pack. Terms and conditions apply. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends Today's video as you guys know it's not uh, regarding Palestine I've done many many videos on the topic etc But yeah today's video is for panel something that I saw and again you know with us you know our job is to remind Because remind the benefits of believer This was sent to me to see a hijabi on the Fresh and Fit podcast that they do I just wanted to look at it because to me it was a, a bit distasteful But obviously there's some context before anybody goes on a mad one and starts backbiting and slandering or whatever for that matter That's not the aim of this video uh, It's the first day she's wearing the hijab but there's so many lessons to be learn from this i haven't seen this video you haven't so you're saying it's the first day she's wearing the yeah jacket. when i heard that i was like okay at least that's the reason why you're behaving in that way uh, okay. you ready i'm ready as i live uh, are you on birth control no okay if a baby pop out i'm keeping it Okay. <laughs> That's you and, God, right. and I got a four month old Shout out to Khaleesi uh, The, yeah, the mother Khaleesi. of dragons Fuck yes. yes I named my baby After the mother of dragons oh, yeah. Damn right Khaleesi Khaleesi Wait, baby Yo, the doing, bro, I'm a mother of three the By the way I got three. three You just can't see it Ooh, Right see I got it. up yeah. under this little dress <laughs> yeah. It's my day It's my turn It's my Wow It's her first day I went to Japan in Before she called me to invite me I was walking out of Japan in And my fiance Who was on the fence about being Muslim He ran into one of his Muslim brothers And I asked him like How long What do you guys do to be Muslim He said we can get on the phone right now And do your shahada Let's do it And then I went into the place And got a hijab They gave me all this shit for free Because I just They you when you Muslim You get whatever Then we went to the little Mediterranean place To give me a free salad No way Yo The benefits are coming in Bitch, all that. Hold on, the question. Uh, <laughs> what's your body count? Oh shit, my body count like her, bitch. I don't even know. What you talking about? But when you do shahada, you start over, bitch. Start over. Right now, right now, I'm yeah. a virgin. Oh, virgin. Virgin. Okay, so it's your first day converting. Um, yes. it, so what it's only you... been a few hours, so go easy on me. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I'm not gonna. I just, I'm just curious, like, what made you uh, want to convert? Uh, well, my fiance was on the fence about it because he believed in God, but he didn't know which religion to pick. And I was like, just go whichever one. Um, I'm baptized Christian, and I'm also in Santeria, aka Ifa, if you're African. So I was like, let's do Muslim. Okay, let's do it all. Like, and just F it. Yeah. F it. How does that work? Is, yo, no, Follow a God. That's, that's all that matters. So I did only three. one God at the end of the day anyway. And every single one of the religions that I'm in, they have a that's one it. God. That's so. one God. We all, no matter what race you it's are, all pretty we much the same, same thing. Was a specific reason just... Or because it was really, trying to really okay, so here. I, I want a man who's going to lead. So I'm okay. telling him, pick <laughs> oh, a religion, yeah. whatever you one you want to do, I'm going to do. I'll do all of them if you want to do all of them. I'll do one if you want to do one. Okay. And, you know, being Muslim is a little more disciplined than all the other. Yeah. That's why he's on the fence about it. But I just want to show him, like, I'm going to jump in it first. Both feet in. So you but, can feel a little confident. Like You just said you want a man to lead. So I do. Yeah, I was going to say. But when <laughs> he, right, but he did it too. He did no, as, but as soon, Right, but as soon as, some people need that extra push. No, so you're leading him, literally. Right. What are you doing? But everything else he leads. That's what I'm saying. He already lives his life like a Muslim man. Yeah. Because you said that you got pregnant in high school. Is he your high school sweetheart? No, or? he is not. He's my third baby daddy. My high school sweetheart <laughs> was a bro. bum. My high school Crush. sweetheart was a <laughs> bum. <laughs> and my second baby daddy is in jail she for murder. Girl. So my third is the only one. Like, <laughs> third time is a charm, bro. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. It's yeah. too much to unpack. Let me get it straight. Your wife. Three baby daddies. <laughs> one's in jail. Three baby daddies. One's a deadbeat. And one's there right now. One is the one, bro. You see the ring? Stop Yo, this, 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 this uh, out of You said one guy's in for murder? My yeah. baby daddy's in for yeah. murder, too. So my son's my dad was my high school sweetheart. Yeah, and my second baby daddy. Two years in, he got the feds came and got it. Chris, 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 what's going on, bro? My baby daddy's in for murder, capital homicide, free him. He ain't mean to do it. You don't know what these niggas do before you have babies with them. You got to run a background check on niggas before you. Them because he had voodoo on I ain't playing for that shit. My daughter Bro, hasn't seen her dad since she was 10 months. Buzzing. And he's been locked. She's seven. Uh, She's seven now. Yo, I see. I think I need to tonight. That, shit. that was a bit painful to watch. Anyways, in a nutshell, I don't know what you make out of it, but <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's, it's all over the place. In America, girls come from a certain background, etc. They're a bit rough around the edges, a bit too rough. 
So I don't know, there's a few things that I can learn from this. Number one, as a new Muslim, if you are a woman or a man, focus on yourself. Take a good couple of months out, a year out, because there's a lot of baggage you're coming with, a lot of jahiliya, um, times of ignorance that you're bringing in. Like for, for example, for me, uh, the fact that she's there wearing a hijab, spewing, you know, swearing, talking about her past, past sins. Oh, I didn't smash my own. Do you get it? So again, you can excuse her that. In the sense where it's her first day You can genuinely excuse her Because it's like She doesn't know anything So you, you really cannot blame her But it's just so painful to watch a hijabi On that show Talking about her past Talking about Oh I was a slut before uh, talk, I, I, I'm being honest with you I'm thinking How does a, non, a non-Muslim a non man Who she's apparently married to Or going to marry Who's Again I think they're both Muslims Their stages etc I understand But I mean your girl Your wife mm. talking about t- t- Typically speaking Whenever you're learning something You have a teacher For example If you're learning to drive You yeah. get a driving instructor yes. if you're you know learning to become an electrician yeah. you go and you study with somebody you know who knows about electrics yeah. so similarly with islam when you accept islam you know get, uh, learn under a teacher um sometimes the person that gives you shahada somebody mm. that gives you da'wah yeah mm. in, invites you keep you know in contact with them and ask them for classes ask them for resources mm. I, I think that's what majority of the reverts or converts actually do mm. they do actually refer to teachers however yeah. this girl over here it, it didn't, didn't seem like it, she came with that zeal it was like oh all of them believe in a god one is you know more disciplined I'll just go with this one although she's adorning the hijab but yeah. it seems like you, you know what I mean like it's clear from what she said yeah that's not really where she's coming from and yeah. for her to come on a podcast yeah. and start you know you're, you're adorning the uniform of religious women it comes with you know even if you don't understand there's there's a degree of rationality and logic that I'm wearing a uniform of somebody mm. I need to treat it with respect mm. so if you don't know then you know you're wearing the hijab you're cl- you're saying you're a muslim you're effing blinding talking about how many how much you smashed and it's it just doesn't suit it doesn't suit what you're going into like for a serious student that's embraced the religion again you're supposed to be a student you're you're learning you're not supposed to yeah. go on there and you know like you said that sort of behavior even if a person doesn't know bro logically it's not befitting yeah so yeah it's, you're right you know like first thing i'll say she said oh the, the following day i'm gonna start praying look at the end of the day we're not telling you just because you said things which which again is totally against islam we're not telling you oh now you cannot wear the hijab keep your hijab on nobody's saying to take it off we're just saying it's a gradual process for you to go on the f- show uh, wearing a hijab for the first day and talking about all this kind of stuff etc i think it would be uncomfortable it's a, it's a general message yeah to exactly people that are accepting islam this is just an just, example it's, it's, it's and a general. case study it's a general yes so yeah we're just saying Be very that, careful yeah. and not only that uh this shows us that to out of Appearance. I mean, if we saw this sister out on the streets, we would never ever think that there's this trauma, background, baggage, all that comes with it. It's very important that as new Muslims or Muslims who are starting to practice again, that you start take a couple of years out or even a year and detox yourself, rehab, you know, because you come with, same with me, it came with a lot of baggages, bad habits. And you know what? We want to send this sister a prayer mat, yeah, because at Salah Plus, uh, we help born Muslims and new Muslims how to pray Salah. Uh, Salahplus.com, guys, you can for free go there if you want to book an instructor. If you want to learn how to pray Salah, we've got videos. And if you want to order, we want to send her a guided prayer mat which shows her how to pray. At the end again, she's our sister. Uh, yes, it was very distasteful. It's her first day. We can assume the best in that because it's her literally, she said it's her first day. Maybe she doesn't understand the whole concept, no problem. But it's an example for us to all understand just because somebody observes the hijab or just because um, they're wearing a phobe or a beard or whatever for that matter, it does not mean don't make this mistake. A lot of people make this mistake in the marriage seeking process where they look at a person and how they look the outer appearance and they make a judgment oh you, you don't know nothing about them niqab I don't care if they wear a niqab I don't care if they have a motorbike helmet I don't care if they've got a beard that's up to their feet it means nothing there's verse in the Quran where Allah tells you to look at the taqwa so it's very important to not make these decisions based on appearance because believe me there are a lot of people out there who have troubles who have traumas who have baggage etc and they just put a hijab on and you're thinking that's the only thing you see of, is that of course the beard and the hijab yeah. it's not you're not saying that it, of course it, not. it means of nothing course not. what you're saying is don't yes don't don't, don't make judgments at, based on yeah, the face yes. value. Exactly. Somebody with a beard, of course, that's that's rewarding. Of you're, course. you're doing the hijab, etc. Yeah. Hijab, you're following, you yeah. know, an uh, an amr of the Quran, yes. and you know, you're doing what your Creator has told 100%. you. However, you know, with that comes mm. a person's actions as well. Exactly. With that, you know, it's important yeah. to look at a person's character, yeah. not just to rely on one's appearance. Yes, and when it comes to marriage.
marriage, you do not make a marriage decision based on what they wear or what they look like. Yes. You can look at them and be like, I admire the fact that you wear a hijab. I admire that you got a beard. Big up all day, every day. But you do not make a marriage decision. This is fundamental where a lot of people make a mistake, which I'll be throughout this whole year. I'm heavily focused on projects that I'll be launching pertaining to helping you guys into the marriage seeking process. Nice. Which the is involved as well, inshallah. But that aside, oh, no. we would like to to send the sister a guided prayer mat check salahplus.com if you guys want to check out as well an audio prayer mat please do and uh, yes uh, again guys uh, please 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 inshallah make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guys our sister makes a firm and her husband uh, and inshallah this video is taken down even Myron said you know I don't like look at women in hijab in that way which I, I respect and admire yeah, even though inshallah. he says he's outright he doesn't practice and all this kind of stuff that he does inshallah, the fact he that will, he showed he's that a, he's a smart guy of course, and you know of course, what yeah. each to uh, you know everyone there, there's a specific time written yeah, for them of yeah, course yeah. we try our best but mm -hmm. you know what honestly yeah you know seeing the isms and the schisms out there yeah. well, even those people that leave islam there is nothing else out there like yeah. islam is the one that's head mm -hmm. and shoulders yeah. above the rest when you look at the preservation of the book yeah when you look at the amal yes. and the practice when you look at you know every aspect islam shines mm -hmm. the brightest so yes. i have no doubt that these mm -hmm. people eventually will come back yeah. but we need to make sure that when they come back you're the person that they're going to be calling you're the person mm -hmm. that they're going to be saying you know what this but if you've cut off relations if you have you know soured uh, you know relations between you guys they say don't ruin relations between people mm. such that if tomorrow the time comes to rekindle ties you're mm. able to and don't befriend somebody yes. so much that if tomorrow you become enemies mm. they know your deepest darkest yeah. secret so there is a balance so even yeah. here as well if you see somebody going off the path mm. you know still give them that dignity that respect mm. and you know speak sometimes yeah. people want to maintain distance because they say either you give that or you you get given dawah yeah, people, yeah, they don't yeah. want to receive dawah some people yeah, can maintain those relationships and give dawah yeah. so uh, it's very important how you address such people yeah. if you can give dawah with hikmah and beautiful preaching like the Quran says alhamdulillah all well and good if not with all due respect pass the baton on to somebody else exactly exactly that's all I have to say brother and sister inshallah I hope this message reaches the sister and we can send a misguided prayer mat and it uh, connects her to her lord which is the most powerful thing inshallah which is the second pillar of Islam which is salah till next time assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh